Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This time I want to do some car tech. So I wanted to purchase a ODB2 sensor and I could have went with the standard analog type, but I wanted to try out these new Wi-Fi style ones. Now they come in Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I went with Wi-Fi just because I thought maybe it would have a stronger signal um, and it was really, really cheap. And I will leave a link for the Amazon purchase in the description if you guys are interested in this one. But this one is made by Cobra and it had a lot of good reviews. So I decided to give it a chance. Now, you have to allow or download a app in order to work with these things. Now, I didn't know that at first. I was just thinking that they came with their own app but uh, that is not the case. There are a lot of free apps out there that you can download that uh, usually will work with these. And um, I will show you the one I used, uh, but you know, it is iOS compatible and that is important. You need to make sure that uh, it, it has iOS and Android. Uh, it, you know, it was either one you have uh, and that your device that you are linking to has Wi-Fi. Uh, on it um, but as far as everything else it's works pretty well for what it's made for like I said I could have gotten a analog one and it would have worked all fine and dandy but I felt like I could be in the engine side of the compartment uh, and I could be have this hooked up to the phone or tablet and it would allow me to uh, diagnose stuff I wouldn't necessarily have to be right in the car. Okay, so generally, you have to find your ODB2 port. In my case, mine is right here. So, I have a uh, 2009 Mini Cooper, and in, on the left side of the driver's right where the footwell is here, so you got your, your pedals and you just go left and then you have your ODB2 port right here. Okay, so let's take the device and install it in the port. You can pretty much tell by the, um, by this direction here, which way it should go in. So face it the same direction here. right in and as you can see it's already lit up I don't even have the key in yet all right so with Mini Coopers they're a little bit different because they're pushed to start anything over 2007 so if you want to get into the auxiliary mode on a Mini Cooper then you have to hit the push to start without actually uh, stepping on the brake. If you step on the brake, you'll start the car. But if you just hit the push to start, then your uh, accessory mode comes on and you can then check your ODB2 device. So now let's launch the app and see about connecting to it. Okay, so you can go to your device. I'm using an iPad in this situation. You're gonna go to settings, and then you're gonna go to your Wi-Fi, and then within the Wi-Fi settings, you'll see the Wi-Fi ODB2. You click on that, and if it asks for a password, it's just all zeros, four zeros. But mine is saying that it is secured, so you have to download an app. I downloaded a, a couple. This one's called Auto Doctor. So let's give this one a try. And I'm running it off on an iPad, but you can do a phone or an iPad. Doesn't really matter. So it looks like I had to hit the little connection button on the top right hand side. It says it's connecting to the vehicle. And it is connected. 
Now, when you go to the top left hand side of this app, you can see here that it has the module and the name. And since the car hasn't been started yet, it doesn't have anything there. Now, uh, the check engine light is currently off. Uh, and there are zero trouble codes. And there is 18,193 codes in its database. Now, before I did have a trouble code and I was able to clear it. Uh, ready for inspection, yes. So, this is another cool thing about these is that you can uh, check it for when you are about to take it in to get it uh, smog checked. So if you have a problem with your smog, it would be able to tell you where it would fail. But it looks like I'm going to be clear on that. Anyway guys, uh, that's pretty much it. It's It does what it you needed to do and what you bought it for, which is just do some light troubleshooting and diagnostics. It works well enough. Remember that you have to download an app for it and you want to make sure that it's iOS or Android that's marked on the unit. Now if I had to buy the unit again, I would definitely go with a Bluetooth unit just because they're a little bit more shallow. Uh, the This unit is kind of long and bulky and I would say that I would go with a shorter one. So if I leave a link in the description, I probably will leave a link for this one just in case you don't care about that. But I'll also leave a link in the description for a Bluetooth model and a more shallow model uh, on Amazon. But uh, if you guys are just doing some easy troubleshooting and you're just trying to fix like some messed up spark plugs or a screwed up gas cap, this is definitely the way to go. And you don't have to spend all that money going to a shop and getting a mechanic to tell you what's wrong with your vehicle. That's my video. Hopefully that you found this informational. If you did, click like. If you really, really liked it, please subscribe. And if you really, really liked it and subscribe, please click that bell. I will talk at you later. I'm gonna get the tech out of here. Later.